Hello again. Okay, so uh, this video is going to be about me converting my current Ethereum servers into Ethereum slash mining Chia slash plotting servers. So I was lucky enough to, uh, when I purchased the motherboards off Kijiji, they came with pretty pro uh, powerful processors. Uh, those processes aren't being used at all with uh, the Ethereum mining. So uh, I've been tasked to optimize these servers, uh, give them more RAM, upgrade them, toss in bigger uh, NVMe drives so that they can do the plotting. And uh, we had to shuffle around a lot of the graphics cards. Um, when I say we, me. Um, and uh, move things around so that it would work in an optimal way as well as dedicate one of them as a harvester, which is the one that's going to be hosting all of, all of the drives. So <clears throat> uh, I had to do voiceover uh, this, a lot of these uh, videos because the server room was so loud. Uh, some of it, once I shut it all down, you can, you can hear me, but uh, for quite a, few, quite a bit of the video, you're gonna be hearing a voiceover. So just explaining things how they go. So with that, on to the video intro. Intro. Hey guys, allow me to introduce you to my server rack. So I moved in uh, the house this year and built on top of my Plex uh, rack, which is the Lenovo laptop running Plex at the top there. Uh, if we move to the very bottom, it was my first first purchased rack mount equipment, which was uh, an IBM 3650. It's got six hot swappable drive bays, currently uh, taking up, I think, 60 terabytes with a PCIe NVMe, which I'm actually going to extract. So there's an SSD in there, which I'm going to partition and then I'm going to take out the NVMe because I don't really need it in there and I could definitely use it for plotting. So uh, moving on, I have my Lenovo workstation, which is powering Plex. The first computer I built in the rack was the middle one, which is called Goose. It was a 4U rack case, which I customized to house, house four graphics cards. It has the two Zotac 3070s at the back, and I had two brackets in the front here, one uh, in the front and one on the side that held uh, another two graphics cards. I then moved on to building Maverick, which is a lot bigger case and was made for uh, six to eight graphics cards uh, right out the right out the gate. So I didn't have to do very many mods <clears throat> to get the six graphics cards in here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to remove these graphics cards and install an additional 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, and we're going to have to remove the back panel as well to get to the RAM. Now that we have the case off, you can see the issue that we're running into by not being able to access the back of the RAM slots. So in order to put <clears throat> this in quad channel memory, we're going to have to move that back plate with all the fans closer, uh, bring it closer to us so that we can access that area of the RAM deposits in order to get quad channel. So in, in order to do that, we're going to have to take out the graphics cards, move the uh, power supply back, and then we're going to install the shortest graphics cards that I have. So moving this, this power supply back will give us some, way, some room to move that middle plate down and give us access to the RAM slots in order to put 16 gigs more in quad channel memory. Um, so we want to be able to have it in quad channel for optimal performance. Uh, before, when this was just a minor, it didn't really matter if it was in dual channel or quad. All right, so we've taken out all the GPUs and we've moved the power supply up to the front as much as we can in order to give us the mount, max amount of space between this and the, the back plate. So we moved the back plate. Uh, which gave us enough access to the RAM slots right in front of it. 
and it fits perfectly in there, which is excellent. Um, might be a little bit cramped for breathing room, but we're also going to be putting in lighter weight graphics cards into this build. So we were able to finally access the RAM and be able to put it in quad channel uh, memory lanes. So that's excellent. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is um, we installed our one terabyte NVMe with a cooler on top of it already. So that's excellent. And now we're going to be populating the rest of the graphics cards with the shorter versions of the 3070s that I have. So the reference design ones and some Dell ones that I have. All right, we've got all of the graphics cards back in. Uh, these are the 2U versions. So these are the smallest cards that I have, the thinnest cards that I have, I guess. All of them take only one 8-pin uh, power adapter, except for the EVGA, which is two. So there's a lot less uh, power requirements on this box now. We were able to get the quad channel memory in without having to do too much work, just move that back plate and also that one terabyte NVMe, which is going to be used for plotting. So now that this is set up, formatted and back up and running, we can close it up and move on to the next one. Next up, we've got Viper. So we've taken out all the graphics cards that are Viper except for one and we have all six of them running in the newly formatted environment uh, with the quad channel RAM in Maverick. So now we're gonna put our attention towards Viper and install the remaining four graphics cards into Viper. So now uh, moving along with Viper, uh, we're gonna be installing uh, the four biggest graphics cards in here. Uh, so they're each three U spaces and uh, that's going to put a big draw on the power supply. But we were able to install an additional 8 gigs of RAM for a total of 16 uh, in dual channel. So we were able to put 16 gigs in this and we're going to be utilizing one of the PCIe slots for an NVMe uh, drive because this doesn't have native support for NVMe. So we're going to have two open slots there that we're going to be putting now, one of the things I didn't realize, I bought another one of these uh, adapters with the two slots in it, and unfortunately, the top slot is only for SSD. And I don't have any SSDs, I only have NVMEs. So temporarily, we're gonna have to use just one NVMe in each of the PCIe slots, but I do have uh, a four, a quad channel NVMe uh, PCI adapter that's coming in the mail, which we're going to be adding four NVMEs into this one uh, PCIe slot. For the time being, we'll be utilizing two of these cards uh, with two 256 gig and one terabyte. All right, so we've got Viper up and running with all of its graphics cards. It's got the four graphics cards in it now. It's uh, got 16 gigs of dual channel memory and it's got a single NVMe with an additional PCIe slot, which we'll be, won't be utilizing right now until we get the NVMe for, uh, with the quad channel on it. So the next and final uh, configuration is going to be setting up Goose, which we are going to have to retrofit the hard drive bays into. So it's got the ability to hose, house uh, eight, drives and we're going to be retrofitting these cages into the fronts of this uh, computer which I've already released a video on so you can actually go see that and at the time of uh, making this video uh, we were only going to be utilizing the four drive bays initially because uh, we we're going to use four of these 10 terabyte drives and kind of see how the pooling goes with Chia first before we commit to using all six. Check out my other video to see how we did this.